Okay, what are we doing? We are talking about the integral test. It is integral in some of our series tests. So let's let this sequence be a sequence of positive terms. All right. Okay, here we go. Now, suppose that the sequence is modeled by this function where the domain is restricted to the integers. Oh boy. Now, here we also need to suppose that f is continuous. Why? We're going to need to be able to integrate it and that it's positive, meaning it's above the axis. Why? Well, you don't want to get into this situation where you have negative area and decreasing. We'll talk about decreasing in a moment, but um, for that function, oh, and it needs to be that way in the tail of the series. Yeah, in the tail of the function, because we are trying to bridge the gap between the two and the area below. Then the series and the integral either both converge or they both diverge. And we're only worried about the tail. So what does that entail? Get up here so we can talk about the area. <laughs> what do I mean? I mean the integral. Yeah, from Calc 1, you know that the integral from A to B represents the area underneath the curve. What have I done? I have what have you done? <laughs> I have um, estimated this area under the curve by, now you have to remember way back, way back, probably a six, six months to a year ago in Calc 1, because this is a Calc 2 topic typically. All right, so you can estimate the area underneath a curve with the rectangles. Yeah, Ralph, let's wreck it. Yeah, this is a right hand endpoint, right hand endpoint, right hand endpoint, right hand endpoint. I talked about how we needed our function to be decreasing. That's so that all of these are lower estimates. Yeah, when the right hand, yeah, we don't want some over, we don't want some under, we want them all under, or we can do the left hand estimate and have them all over. That's what the important part about decreasing is. Okay, so if we look down here, then uh, what is the area of a rectangle? We recall it's length times width. Yeah, length times width. Now, if we're down here and we're looking at a sequence, oh boy, yeah, you're way down here. Let's get down here. Oh, get low, get low. Now, we look and if it's a sequence, then each one of these intervals is one unit, one unit, one unit. Yeah, and if this is A, that's A plus one, A plus two, because it's one more. Yeah, all right, so what's the height? Well, when we read this, okay, it's a right-hand interval, so this is F of A plus one. Okay, it's a right-hand interval, so this is F of A plus two. Okay, it's a right-hand interval, so this is F of A plus three. Now, we estimate the area under this curve by finding the areas of those rectangles. Now, this is height times width, height times width, height times width. If you're with me, then we know that's the sum from n plus 1 to infinity of fn. But what's that? That is the series. <laughs> All right. It's governed by that sequence. And now I'm over. Are you going to follow? Are you following me? Okay, you're following me. You're following me. Follow this. With that rationale, the integral, the area under the curve is bigger than, look at that. What's that? That's the plus one case. That's the, yeah, that's the underestimate. Yeah. All right. And the integral, that one, yeah, that's under the overestimate. Yeah, so what does that say? That says if this converges, then that area is actually a number and that area is bigger than the series, which means that series converges. Yeah, because it's going to be an actual number a little bit smaller than this. Now, this one here says if this one diverges, notice how it's under. Okay, that's another thing about the positive term thing. Now we're getting into a comparison test, which is coming. Yeah, wait for it. I'm going to take that one in probably about half hour once I get it rid up, wrote up. 
Well, once it's up here, but so in a compared to set, we need a positive term anyway. Okay, so this area is going to be smaller than the overestimate. That's what that says. That's what that says. Okay, so what does that say? If this doesn't add up to anything, nor will that. That's what they mean. They both converge or diverge. All right. If that doesn't add, then this doesn't add. If this does add, then that does add. All right. Now, if you want to see some examples, then all right. You hear? Yes, you're here. Okay, so in the, now I've been calling it the private collection, but now I'm calling it, I need another name for it. So if you need, uh, if you can provide me a name for the playlist that comes at the end of this video that has all of these examples and more when I add them, I'll put them in the playlist. If you can think of a better name than private collection, I'm thinking about um, playlist exclusive, PE, it really works out, but no. All right, so this one is using the integral test and it's in the playlist exclusive. This one using the integral test and it's in the playlist exclusive. This nasty thing. Whoa, what is that? <clears throat> ah, this nasty thing is also in the playlist exclusive. Now, in the playlist exclusive, you will find a game plan. All of these follow this game plan. First, you need to show that f of x is continuous. How do you do that? Well, one way to do it is draw it without picking up your pencil. More legit ways to do it is make sure it's not a rational expression. If it is, make sure that the domain is not restricted to the tail because we're worried about the tail. All right. Yeah. Some of you are way too concerned about tail. When we're looking at the natural log, you need to make sure that the argument is um, positive in the tail. Now, we need to show that it's continuous, so we got to make sure that it's not any one of these gappy functions. Now, there's a whole lot of other ones of those, but if it's like a polynomial or something that behaves well, then continuous. All right. Then you need to show decreasing. There are a few different ways to show decreasing. You can do it algebraically. That's where you find the a n plus one, and then um, through a chain of inequalities, you show that a n plus one is smaller than a n. That would be decreasing. Yeah, where the next term is smaller than the one where you're at. Another way to do it is if the function is decreasing, then the sequence is decreasing. How do you? Well, calc one, that's the derivative, smaller than zero. Is it? Find those intervals. If the tail is decreasing, then your series or integral can possibly converge now or diverge. Now, showing positive one way is to graph or a more legit way is why don't you just solve the inequality where f of x is greater than zero. Yeah. Okay. And um, fourth step, all of these examples go through all of these steps. All right. Now, um, Yes. Uh, four step, actually integrate the dang thing from n to infinity or n plus one to infinity. It's fine. It's fine. You're going to have to use an improper integral on that. Yeah, that's why that was the section before this. Um, and check out those. Uh, there's a whole collection, probably five or six videos. <clears throat> you need to use the improper integral and then find out what this does. Now, this integral is either going to both converge or both diverge, and you need to state your conclusion and why. But probably the most important thing that comes out of this P, this integral test is the P series for convergence. That's right. It's got a fun name. I got a good story. Something about Chicago in a conference. And anyways, um, no. Okay, so this P series is going to converge if, now, these are um, numbers. Any real number greater than one, then that series is going to converge. The proof is in the private collection or the playlist exclusive or the please give me a better name. Okay, so the, yeah, the proof is in the playlist. I like that. And there's also examples of P series in the playlist. Yeah, this one. Now, what? You're going to have to. What did you do? Did you just blink? 182. So, I know these look like small things, but I just want to continue going. But all right, so um, you would rewrite that with rational notation. You would compare the exponentiation with that P. If it's bigger than one, converge. If it's. Whoa. Whoa, 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 there you go.
<clears throat> All right, and then same with this one. That is also in the private collection, the playlist exclusive. One last little mention has to do with the error on the estimate. We said that this is going to be bigger than that, but how much? Or that this is going to be smaller than that, but like how much? Well, 